Let's crack a new world adventures, explorers, and friends. Today, I want to talk a little bit about New World MMO Season 5, Season of the Guardian, when it's about to drop on March 12th. And now we need to maybe make a little bit of gold or prepare ourselves for when the season does drop so we can get some of those new artifacts. So, um, one of the main ways a lot of people have been making videos about to make some gold is basically just buy up materials off the trading post, which usually that's a good way to do it, but I don't suggest it this time because there's not as many people playing. I mean, you're looking at about 10,000 people in the entire world. So a lot of the servers are very minimal population. And uh, basically the people making these videos, they've already bought up tons and tons of resources. So the price has already started to go up. So I would not recommend doing this, but instead uh, you're going to need to do the old trials or arenas. They were once called uh, Avarice, Sigurmet, and the Siren Queen to get three of the new artifacts. So with that being said, Basically, farming the materials to make these orbs would be probably super useful. You can also make the orbs for yourself. I believe you can still only make five per week, so one per day. I have to double check that. You may actually be able to make them all at once now, uh, still five per week. And you're going to need those to do these fights for the new artifacts. It's specifically the Gravity Gloves, the Tempest Great Axe, and then um, another body piece. The nature's vengeance or nature's wrath I'm sorry so there's gonna be pretty sought after artifacts so you're gonna need to do those things so in order to make these orbs you're gonna need runestone for all of them you are gonna need three of those so I would say out of that uh, people have been saying to buy up the uh, the solvent off of the trading post but that's already kind of went up in price and there's so much of it that I don't think that's worthwhile at all now if you did it the very first day they posted the videos and got it for like a penny each maybe but I would say go out and so farm the lodestone because the lodestone being the most expensive ingredient and all that will be the one that's the hardest to come by. So I think you can make some money off a of lodestone. So I would farm that. And then also you're going to need uh, the elemental cores or the energy cores. So the elemental hearts and such that you need to make at the stone cutting station with uh, elemental moats. So in order to make that energy core for each one of those, you'll need 70 elemental moats. So 10 of each. So I would go out and farm those as well. Uh, also, for those items you're going to need depending upon which one you do so for one of them you need fancy shells the other you need uh, glowing swamp moss and the firefox and those are basically farmed from the elite areas with um so you're going to get the glowing swamp moss from angry earth type mobs uh best place to do that is malevolence you're going to do that for the zygermats fight and then um for the other two they're both going to be in reek water you're going to go farm uh, angry earth and eternal pools and That'll be for the Firefox. And then for the other one, you're going to, anyway, the fancy shells. Uh, that's <laughs> the other one you're going to farm from lost mobs that are in a uh, siren stand. So those will also be good things to do. So you get all those different items to make your orbs so you can go into these trials and fight, uh, hopefully get good artifacts. And then uh, the next way, they've changed a lot of the cooking recipes so you're gonna now you're gonna need some of the hot tier legendary fish for some of them and they're supposedly making them harder so you're gonna need uh really good fishing gear in order to catch them and also in the three tier hot or three star hot spots so i would suggest that if you can farm any of the fishing gear or make any fishing gear if you can i don't remember if you can make fishing gear it'd be cool if you could I'll have to check that out never tried but um definitely farm fishing gear so maybe i'll pop a video up about where you can get the fisherman's the vengeful set because I think that'd be really good for you to maybe possibly make a little bit of gold as well, because people won't want to take the time to do it. They'll want to just get off and running and get started as soon as the season drops. So if you found any of this content helpful or appreciate it, please consider liking and subscribing. Very much appreciate it. Almost at 2,000 subscribers, which never thought we'd get that many from a game that only basically has 10,000 people playing. So uh, thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.